Through continued investment in research and development, Biosonic Systems have advanced the science of ultrasonic cleaning, pushing the boundaries of technological advances to produce the most powerful range of eco-friendly systems on the market today. Biosonic Systems has developed a close business alliance with Telsonic Switzerland, one of the world's leading ultrasonics manufacturers, to integrate advanced technology into state-of-the-art cleaning systems. While ultrasonics is not a new innovation, Biosonic Systems have developed new technology, which sets benchmark industry standards for precision cleaning delivering powerful, eco-friendly solutions to a wide range of applications, including food processing, medical, marine, automotive and engineering, to name but a few. The system, called Reson A-Tube Technology, works in a completely different way to standard piezoelectric transducer systems. Sound waves at a resonant frequency of 25 kilohertz are transmitted through the special Reson 8 radial tubes, which because of their dynamic 360 degree shape causes a three-dimensional oscillation in water to produce a more powerful form of cavitation to clean surface and blind hole substrates. The entire process is environmentally friendly fast and efficient and labour-saving. Typical ultrasonic cycles are just a few minutes in length. Considerably shorter and time-efficient than alternative methods, providing fast-track return on investment, given the sheer number of items that could be cleaned in one day. Precision cleaning cycles are non-destructive and produce consistent cleaning results. In order for us to demonstrate this process, we have built this clear transparent tank with a small Reson 8 tube for you to see items such as plastic, metal, glass and a keyboard being cleaned.
Yeah, the benefits for the hospitals um, is quite re really good actually. Um, there's about 26 items that you can clean within the tank. Um, they only go in for a, a few minutes and they come out very clean. Um, we use a biocide in the, in the process and at the moment um, with Huddersfield University are doing some trials so we can build a, a protocol. Um, we're very confident that we can clean items very quickly and efficiently and we're looking at not control, we're looking at prevention. So um, once we've cleaned the items um, we're very confident that it will reduce the risk of any infections. What we're doing today is testing the ultrasonic bath to see how bacteria that would be released into the bath when cleaning furniture or, or other things actually survive the ultrasound process. We've bought a range of equipment that we can use to detect bacteria. So we've got air samples that will detect whether or not the bath is giving off bacteria. We've got a spiral plater which will allow us to analyse the liquids in the, in the bath and we've got membrane filtration which we'll use to detect low levels of bacteria surviving the process. Well the air monitoring, the air samplers, what they do is they suck a known volume of air and impact it on an agar plate and where the air hits the plate any bacteria in the air grow and then we can after we've incubated them back at the lab we can then count the numbers per litre of air. Well the, the bath's been used in conjunction with a product called Clinel and the idea is that any bacteria liberated during the cleaning process the Clinel um, disinfectant will kill them so that we will be looking to make sure to, to prove that process that the Clinel biocide is killing any bacteria that have been released by the ultrasound process. Well there's a whole range of things I think the equipment can be used to clean. We've been um, in the past we've seen it used for hospital equipment, commodes, um, wheelchairs, that sort of thing. Right. And that's where it's very important that any bacteria that are liberated by the cleaning process are then killed within the bath and not don't build up to contaminate other things being cleaned later.